Hey, it's Clay Trader at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some live trades as the day unfolds. Market opens up here in less than one minute, so I will do my best to capture uh, the trades as they unfold. Let's see what happens. I have a couple fishing orders out there right now watching MEI. I have an order at 3081 to grab a starter position there. So not an amount that's going to make me you know, rich. Okay, so I'm in there. Like I said, I'll be looking to build a bigger position if possible. So I got a hundred of those shares sold. Let's see if we can get some more. Uh, okay, I got a partial fill of 33. So I have 267 shares left, 200 shares left. Okay, and now I'm just gonna let the rest of these, well, that was quick. Let's see if I can just get out of those there. So out of those at 99, so we'll, uh, I'm going to restart the process again. If it wants to pull back, I'll try to accumulate the, the pullback there. So I have a new order in at 30.51 to restart the process again. Obviously on this time, uh, I didn't get any sort of big size before the price went in my favor. Um, but I'll restart the process if it wants to pull back. So 30.51 is where my new uh, beginning process area will be. I have an order in here on CREE down at 27.51. Uh, this one's very, very overextended to the downside. So see if it can get even that much more overextended and I will start the, the building process at that point. So let's see what else is out there, but that's currently where a fishing order is. Let's see if it can pull back. It looks like it's trying here. Looking like I got a chance and I'm in. So we'll see uh, what happens here. Again, this is just an uh, initial entry point. I'm just going to get out there, break it. Oh, I guess minus 250. Don't like the way uh, it's holding. I think I'm going to be able to restart the process at a better price. So I'm going to try to pick some up at 2731 and just start the process down there. Um, I wasn't liking the action that I was seeing there. And so far, it looks like I was right uh, in terms of just selling out there for that quick little uh, loss. So the silence there on the, on the mic was just me thinking. Uh, Focusing actually on uh, do I really like this price action or not and now I don't I don't like really the way it's slowing down here uh, Just all of a sudden getting kind of slow and methodical to the downside and I don't want to get stuck in something like that I was hoping for a little bit more jumpiness So what I'd like to see is more of a, a quick shoot to the downside not this slow As you know, it's a price. It's just kind of slowly drifting down. So there we go That's more of what I'm looking for the, the faster action like this Actually, I'm just going to get extra conservative on this one and go all the way down to 2701. Who knows if it'll get all the way down there, uh, but if it does, that I think I would be very happy with that starting spot to build a position. So we'll see what happens with it. I'm going to keep on looking for other other symbols. Okay, I have an order in to pick up some at 2871 on MEI. This thing's just getting brutalized quite a bit, so we'll see if it can drop down there or not. But I'll be keeping a close eye on it. I don't want some slow and steady move down there. I'd rather see a more of a, a bigger type move candle go down there and hit it. So we'll see what happens. All right, uh, just traded GKOS IPO. Uh, everything happened pretty quick. Uh, we got 126 on this one. Uh, we'll look to trade it some more. So uh, we'll see what happens. 30 minutes in and summer in full effect. Watching some Apple over here. Still watching MEI. Uh, but why do things slow down? At least for my style. Uh, and what I'm looking to do, uh, opportunities uh, really start to evaporate relatively quickly. So half an hour in, I have still been looking. You know, sometimes I, I go away and you know, um, you know, just since I work from home, I do stuff at home. You know, play with my daughters a little bit, or you know, just talk to my wife. But no, that's not the case here. I've been searching. I and I'm just struggling right now to find anything. But I'm also not going to force anything. 
Um, so I am looking though, and uh, we'll see if I can find at least one more trade, but uh, I'm certainly not gonna force anything just for the sake of the video. Okay, we have uh, an alert here that um, HCA just going bonkers for some reason. So try to build a position up into this. So got a quick $50 out of it, but I will look to start over again. Like I said, this one's going pretty. So I'll try at 75. So I got those. Okay, so I'm all out there. Now let's start over again. Let's see, 91. Just starting off with, uh, you know, 200 shares. So yeah, I'm not gonna make a whole lot of money, but I need to just ease into the position. So that's why I'm doing the size that I'm doing. Because this one is, you know, without question, quite the big move here. So again, my next order is up there at 91.50. We'll see if it can get up there. I'll keep you updated. Okay, CYH, uh, somebody in the chat room, there's just some sort of court ruling about Obamacare, I guess. So a lot of these health care stocks are making moves right now. Um, so I'm watching these, let's go back to HCA. And I uh, canceled my order and went over to try to play that other one. And I would have been filled up at that 91 area and been out, went up actually as high as 92. So shoot, shouldn't have done that, but Let's see if we can get some more, uh, get another move up there. Have an order in to start at 92.50. Again, not huge size, so it's not like I'm gonna get rich on it or anything, but it'll allow me to at least um, ease into the position. So let's see if it can get back up there again. Again, 92.50 is what I'm looking for. I will keep you updated. Had a button malfunction there. I actually shorted at 91.49. Did not mean to do that, so I just hopped out real quick uh, to make sure my costs and everything were covered. So. A quick little nine dollars there but that was a, a mistake entry point um but 92.50 still sitting up there i will keep you updated all right whoops all right what did i do here shoot welcome to the clown show all right i put i put in a i don't know that's the problem when these things are moving fast uh but i went short um and let's see i went short at 90.81 Right, yeah, 9081. I bought 200 at 9070, bought 200 at 9065. Oh, and then I see I, I put a stop loss in, but I never changed it. So I covered 100, and then that left me with 200 long at 9062, which I had to end up selling for a loss there, um, which I'm glad I did because now it's down here. But uh, yeah, so um, it is what it is. That's what happens when uh, you know this one. I wish I was a supercomputer or this, but there is the human element here. Um, and now obviously hindsight probably should have held on a little bit longer, but like I said, this one's very, very quick. So I wanted to take advantage uh, while I could, uh, but how quickly things change. I was struggling. Now all of a sudden, uh, about 20 minutes later, I'm up another about $150. Um, so now up 350 on the morning. All right. Uh, shorted again at 9013, covered at 9030. Was looking for the break, but, um, it, it's looking pretty solid. It very well could break, but just not worth risking because if this thing bounces, it's going to go real big uh, in the opposite direction just based off how fast it moves. You can see right here now all of a sudden 90, 20 that fast up. Um, and, you know, this is the candle that was starting to form. So like I said, 90 could fall and I'm still watching it for that. Uh, but at the time, I decided to just take my quick $50, especially when the $50 came in uh, a, a matter of just a few seconds. Um, so I'm still watching, but just wasn't worth holding on uh, the way the price was acting around uh, that round number of 90 um, like I said, I very well could be wrong, but to me, it wasn't worth the risk there. You can see it's holding up very steady there. So we'll see what happens if it can break or not. But this is the action I was talking about. Notice it just keeps on absorbing, absorbing, absorbing. And obviously you may be thinking, well, why don't you just buy right here? Well, I'm not, I'm very unsure. I'm undecided right now. So that's why I'm just kind of sitting back and seeing what happens. So there's the break. And it was a very weak break at that. Well, hindsight, now yelling at me, you should have held, you should have held. Yeah, I should have. Now it's, uh, you know, down here. But as I explained, just was not worth it. So we'll see if I can uh, 
maybe hop back in here. And there's the move I was scared of right here. Look at this now, up as high as 90.40. Uh, granted, it did fall, but like I said, this is kind of what I was uh, thinking. It is 10.23, so about an hour in. Um, I'm up 400 exactly on the nose. Um, and I think uh, I think I might wrap it up for the day. Uh, just, uh, you know, sun's shining outside. So uh, who knows? We'll see where the day takes me, but I think I'm going to wrap this up. If you are interested in learning, you know, where am I finding these setups? How am I finding these setups? Uh, then I do have a free guide, which you can see right here. It's totally free. You just uh, enter in your email, and then uh, it'll be automatically emailed to you. It's just uh, a guide that I put together where I talk about the five tools that I use to find these setups uh, that are trading. Um, and uh, HCA, for example, uh, you know that came via the chat room, so that is one of the, the, the uh, scans that I use. And my favorite scan because you know it's a, a chat room is made up of living human beings that are you know can, can communicate a little bit more than obviously a lot of the scanners and such out there. But if you're interested, uh, you know, in learning, you know, what sort of tools I'm using to find the setups that you've seen me trade, uh, like I said, you can click right there, enter in your email, and then we will email you the guide. Uh, no catches or anything like that. Uh, it is totally free. So thanks for watching. Get out there, trade without emotion.